Hey everyone, thanks for checking out the video. In this video, I'm just going to go over Tilta's lightweight shoulder rig. It's a recent uh, product release from Tilta. And it's fairly simple and straightforward. Um, it comes with a really nice uh, case for the shoulder rig and the components that go along with that. You do get some screws and tools with it. Uh, and you get the additional components such as this bracket for the shoulder pad shoulder pad and this top bracket here uh, the rest of it is together in the case uh, those are the components that you put on the shoulder rig so uh, we're going to check it out and kind of get it set up. So, first of all, this piece here slides back and forth. And if we if we slide it back and forth, we can get it to a point where we want it locked down and this component here or piece here will lock it down this is also pressed to release so so when you take it out it's going to be just like this and you'll need to put this plate on so let's take a look at how I got that plate on. So we have multiple indentations in here to fit these screw heads. And these are uh, placed in any one of three holes in here. So the base plate has one, two, three holes in it there. One, two, three holes in it there. This allows us to slide it back and forth here. There's also these slots here. And if we unlock it and go even further out, you can see there's an additional set of slots. So this plate is what your camera base is going to mount on. And that's what needs to be shifted based on your preference. So I just initially set these in here uh, uh, ahead of time just so we can kind of go through a demonstration of how this gets set up so once you set that this is basically what we have so another thing we need to do is get this on and what this is going to support is through this NATO rail here, it's going to support your shoulder pad. So, and this NATO rail port, uh, part here. So NATO rail here is going to fit on this NATO rail. And there's a catch here that's spring loaded. Um, that just keeps it from accidentally sliding off if it does come loose. I'm going to slide it back, lock it down, and that's basically what it looks like. So now take shoulder pad and we slide it and there's a screw here that uh, works as a stop for it so slide it all the way down but it it'll stop once it hits that screw 
Uh, it's possible to take that screw out. It does have a, a, a head on it for an Allen wrench, so you can unscrew this. But anyway, we'll get it in place, lock it down, and there's the shoulder pad. So one thing to note about the shoulder pad is it has a 20 degree range of flexibility. So 10 degrees that way or 10 degrees that way. And that's uh, the extent of the movement. And it is spring loaded. Hopefully you can see the spring there. And another thing about the, the shoulder pad is that this, this metal plate here has Velcro on it and the pad itself has Velcro on it. So you can actually remove this pad. It's a kind of thick foam pad. Um, you can move it or remove it and uh, if if you had it damaged or something or it gets worn out over time, you should be able to replace that. Right, speaking of that, the same on uh, the shoulder pad here. So this piece here on the underside of it has Velcro and on the top part of the uh, We have Velcro on the other side here. Velcro there. So that allows you to turn it based on where you're going to have uh, the shoulder rig resting. So if we look at the pad itself, you should be able to see this side's lower than this side. Right? So raised higher than this side. And that's going to depend on where you where you're going to have it. So I'm going to have it on this side or this side, All right? So uh, tilt is built in, built in the flexibility of adjusting that to whichever uh, is your preference. So set it back down on it. Sit down to make sure the velcro is adhering and now for the arms so on the arms here this right here allows this piece to, to flex to pivot so let's loosen it so allows that to pivot so move the arms out <laughs> lock it down and then what we have left are two things one is the length of this arm uh, for your whatever you prefer that length to be uh, So we, you would adjust it as well so You can see it Slides up slides in and this one is marked um, The markings are really helpful once you get it adjusted you can always go back exactly where you need it So now, that part was well thought out by uh, Tilta to have those markings there. It would be nice to see markings here so you can get these adjusted uh, and pivoted the way you want them or either on here. So once you get it adjusted here, you can keep it that way and just pivot there. So one or the other needs markings on it that Tilta doesn't yet have on, on them. All right, so now we get to the, the handles. Sorry. All right. All right, so now what we have left is to take a look at all the mounting points. There are a ton of mounting points on this thing. So on the front, we have quarter inch here, 
here. Also on the bottom. And you can see the notches there. Four locking pins. Uh, under, in front of the plate here. And this may be another reason why you might want to shift this plate further back than what you see me having it here. Um, because you have quarter inch mounting points all in here, right? So there's six of them. And you also have holes there, or mount points there. Now on the back. Okay, so this is littered with quarter inch 20 mount points. So we have them all along here. All along here on the inside of this where you see this mounted there's also quarter inch 20 threaded holes so a ton of ton of holes there and also under here we have quarter inch 20 holes now for the other part so what I have here two six inch carbon fiber rods 15 millimeter this is a four inch i believe uh three or four inch so there they are so with the small one i end up putting this one Right in here. So this is a 15 millimeter rod holder. There's something to note on it. This. You can push it all the way through and hit that. So you it'd be better to have it kind of close to flush or flush on the back side here uh, before locking it down. And the other we have is on the, the back side. So we have 15 millimeter rod holder here, 15 millimeter there. There we go. So now we have two 15s on the back. And the one small one here on the front. And essentially that's, I mean, that's about it as far as, uh, what you get in the case, this is this is it. Uh, you get the main part of the shoulder rig, the uh, shoulder pad, and the bracket for the shoulder pad to fit on. Yeah, Justin did a good job on this one. So uh, I'll let you all know if I have any problems with it so far. I haven't had any problems at all with it. That's pretty much going to be it for this video. Thanks for checking it out. And uh, we'll see you in the next one. Have a good day.